But I, I read that you turned down the initial offer presented to you by WWF. Were you too good to be a pro wrestler? What was your attitude? <laughs> hey, I well, want to know. I, I didn't. I didn't turn it down. Okay. First of all, uh, when I was approached, Vince McMahon flew me up. I sat down with him, and me knowing nothing about the business, I I told Vince. He offered me a contract. It was a 10 year deal and it was a lot of money. And I, I didn't make any money as an amateur wrestler. So there was this multi million dollar deal. Thank God. And, uh, uh I said, um, you know what? Uh, there's one thing though I, I need to tell you, Vince or Mr. McMahon. Um, I, I can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> you can't so, lose. And bro you know, wrestling, you, know, Vince, you, you are one crazy <laughs> bastard. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so Vince. I could tell he he wanted to bust out laughing, but he was trying to keep his face straight. And I didn't know anything about it. I believe Bruce Pritchard was in the in the room as well. And he said, "Well, take the contract home, uh, think about it, but I can't promise you you're going to win every match." And I took the contract home and I took it to my agent, Ralph Sanders, who happens to be a very successful NFL agent. He's also uh, Ben Roethlisberger's agent. And um, at the time, he uh, he took the contract on me and he threw it in the garbage he said you're not doing this crap and i i literally never looked back i went and i did a stint as a as a sportscaster for a year and did a lot of motion motivational speaking and i did a lot of clinics and camps for wrestling and and one night in uh, late 98 i turned on Roz wharf and i saw a, a character named stone cold steve austin <laughs> And the stuff that you guys were doing, um, you're actually, Steve, I'm not doing this to put you over, but you're actually the reason I started. And it, it wasn't just you, but, I mean, at the time, you were you were so hot, and, you know, everybody, uh, you know, there, it was just this Stone Cold Steve Austin craze thing going on, and I'm watching you wrestle, and, wow, this guy's actually a really great athlete, and on the mic, he's entertaining and funny and intense, and... I said, you know what? It'd be really cool if I, you know, if I could do that. And I remember at the time, you guys had so many different, you know, wrestlers, great wrestlers like Triple H and The Rock and Undertaker and Kane, a lot of great characters. Even guys like Val Venus and Bob Hawley. I mean, everybody was over, and it was like it was the Attitude Era. And I, I, I looked at my girlfriend at the time. You know what? I, I think I'm going to call WWE and, and WWF at the time, and I'm going to see if that contract still stands. And uh, I called, and uh, and uh, Vince McMahon said, uh, and I, "Actually, I'm sorry, not Vince McMahon. Jim Ross. I talked to him, and he and I asked if the contract would still go as planned. He said no. He said, uh, oh, shit. at this point, you're going to have to come up and try out.' 